Niger State Government on Thursday stepped up efforts to rescue students and workers of Government Science College, Kagara, who were abducted on Wednesday. A competent source who spoke on condition of anonymity for security reasons told one of our correspondents that officials of Niger and Zamfara State Governments met some bandits at Dutsin Magaji of Kotonkoro Forest in the Rafay local government area of Niger State on Thursday evening. The source stated the committee from Niger State where went to Kotonkoro Forest this evening, where the bandits who allegedly took the students chose as meeting center. Some officials of Zamfara State also joined them. Kotonkoro Forest, according to him, bordered four states of KB, Zamfara, Niger, and Kaduna, where the bandits from the affected states could easily meet if there was any serious issue. A popular Kaduna-based cleric, Ahmad Gumir, also met some bandits in Niger State as part of efforts to rescue the students. Gumi met the bandits in a forest between Tegina in Niger State and Beriningwari, Kaduna State on Thursday afternoon. Efforts to get the comment of the Niger State government on the, on the state officials meeting with the bandits did not succeed. The State Commission for Information, the State Commissioner for Information, Sani Idris, and the Special Advisor to the State Governor on Media uh, Publicity, Mohammed, Mohammed, did not respond to calls or SMS sent. When contacted for comments on the involvement of Zamfara State Government, the Special Advisor to the State Governor on Public Enlightenment Media, and communications, Zailani Bapa said, there is nothing like that at the moment. Bapa stressed that the state governor, Bilo Matawali, had been making frantic efforts to make sure he worked with other Northwest governors on how to end Bandi 3, but was not getting much support from them. On Thursday, more facts emerged about the abduction of students and workers of the Government Science College, Kagara. A resident, Aliu Isa, who escaped while his colleagues were being taken away, said, abductors told the abductees that they were soldiers. Also, the punch learned on Thursday that security team dispatched to Niger State from Abuja had through air surveillance detected the location of abductees from Kagara and 18 passengers of the state transport service who were kidnapped at Yakila village, also in the Rafi local government area on Sunday. A top security source who confided in the punch said, the kidnappers of the students and the passengers belong to the same gang. He said the two groups of abductees were kept or were being kept close to each other in Kotonkoro Forest in Niger State, but close to Zamfara. Adding that security forces had cornered the bandits. Meanwhile, Isa, who stays in the Government Science College Kagara staff quarters in an interview with the Punch, said he escaped shortly after the bandits raided the school hostel. He stated, after all domestic work, we went to sleep. After 2 p.m., we heard some people trying to force our door open. Before we knew what was happening, they forced the door open and came into the bedroom. 
held me by trousers and took me outside. They took me to the students' hostel. On reaching there, they started gathering the students. So when the students discovered who they were, they started running. But the kidnappers told them not to run. They said they were soldiers who came to provide security and not kidnappers. The person who held me wore uniform of the Nigerian army. There were three that came to my room, but one wore black clothes. When we were at the hostel, they gathered the students, but some of the students succeeded in running into the bush. They took those they caught outside and tied them in pairs. So, when they started tying us, I stayed at the rear, pulled off my shirt, and God gave me the courage to run. I was running in a zigzag manner as they were shooting. At a point, I prostrated and started crawling. I ran to a driver's house. I knocked at the door and he opened and I stayed there till around after 4 p.m. The kidnappers operated for two hours. A source who spoke on condition of anonymity lamented that a police station was two kilometers away from the school. But the bandits operated for two hours without any move by the security agency to stop them. Another student of the school who also escaped but refused to disclose his identity said the bandits first attacked two houses by the fence. He added that the kidnappers were chasing and shooting students who were running away and in the process killed a student. A member of the security team sent from Abuja who spoke to the punch on condition of anonymity stated, I can confirm to you that after this aerial surveillance, the two groups of abductees have been spotted in a bush close to Zamfara. The kidnappers have been cornered but we are being careful because of the safety of the victims. Also on Thursday, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, drafted additional 252 operatives and a helicopter to reinforce the ongoing rescue operation for the abducted students and staff of the Government Science College, Kagara. The Inspector General of Police said the joint search team, uh, joint search and rescue mission involving the police, the military, and other law enforcement agencies would ensure the hostages on hot and reunite them with their families. According to the statement by the first spokesman, Frank Mba, titled Katgara Abductions, we are committed to the safe rescue of abductees says the Inspector General of Police. The police component of the search and rescue operation was being coordinated by the Commissioner of Police, Niger State. It said the Commissioner of Police was effectively harnessing all the deployed resources and working in sync with the military and other law enforcement agents in ensuring an intelligence-driven, focused and result-oriented ground and air aerial surveillance in the rescue operations and to bring the perpetrators to book. The statement reads, to give impetus to the rescue operation, the Inspector General of Police has ordered the deployment of additional tactical intelligence and investigative assets of the force, including four units of police mobile force attached to Operation POF Adder 2 one unit of police special forces, personnel of the counter-terrorism unit, and operatives from the Force Intelligence Bureau and the Force Criminal Investigations Department. One police aerial surveillance helicopter has also been deployed. While calling for calm, the Inspector General of Police enjoyed members of the community to provide the force and the security community with useful 
relevant and timely information that can assist the ongoing search and rescue operations. We have deployed more troops where abductees, kidnappers are, says the Commissioner of Police. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story and situation as it were? It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see if this student will be eventually uh, released or the abductors arrested and persecuted. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the, at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.